Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand. We'll try to solve some examples on subnetting and subnet masking. The concepts related to subnetting and subnet masking has already been discussed in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, uh, in our previous class, we have covered this example. Uh, we have taken uh, a university and in that we have created four labs uh, using subnetting so this is our uh, subnet one uh, this is our uh, second subnet third subnet and fourth subnet and these are the interfaces so this uh, through uh, interface one the things will get transmitted to this network interface two interface three and interface four and we have seen that these are the uh, subnet these are the ids these are the ip addresses uh, for this subnet and these are the ip addresses for this subnet and uh, uh, this is our first uh, first address is going to be the network id so for this subnetwork the network id is this is our network id and this is our directed broadcast address so all these concepts we have discussed for better understanding we are discussing it again so we are going to take the same example and we will see what if different ip addresses uh, so the the message different messages has been arrived at this router okay and this is the private network right this is the network that is that was built by the university what if what if uh, messages has been uh, arrived at this router this is the outer router uh, means outside of this network so what if the messages different messages has arrived with these following ip addresses to this router how this router uh, uh, how this message the messages will get transferred to this router and how this router is going to decide where, uh, to which subnetwork that packet has to be transferred so how that decision can be made it is done by using subnet mask what is the subnet mask for this entire network for all these subnetworks the subnet mask is 255.255.255.128 this also we have discussed in our previous video so how to find the subnet mask we have already discussed so using this subnet mask and based upon the ip addresses uh, uh, of the messages that has been arrived at this router means which will get transferred to this router how this router is going to decide through which interface the packet has to be transferred to which network sub network the packet belongs to so that we will try to understand we'll, we have taken different addresses the and this is the routing table this is the routing table at that uh, internal router okay and these are the network ids the network ids are uh, we have seen above four different network subnets are there the first network id is uh, uh, 194.24. first subnets network id is 194.24. 24.2.0 and the next second one second one it is 194.24.2.64 and similarly 128 for third network mechanical department and 192 for civil department subnetworks network id and all the subnets uh, all the subnets is having the same subnet mask here 192 192 192 192 and these subnet the subnet and the ip address uh, and the IP address using these two we can decide to what is the network ID of that uh, 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 where this system belongs to okay so where this IP address belongs to that networks ID can be obtained by doing and operation on the subnet mask and IP address okay so this is how the, the and operation has to be done so let's see these are the three uh, messages these are the three different messages that has been obtained with these addresses it is 194.24.2.70 130 and 200 so 70 means it belongs to this network okay so the number uh, the uh, the range of this uh, network b is from 64 to 127 and the range of this network is 128 to 191 so in the above diagram we have considered all those possibilities and for this it is 192 to 
255 now now first message taking the first message how can we identify the network id and these are the interfaces 1 2 3 4 in the diagram we have shown okay let's see what how to find the network id so for this 70 means the network id is 64 we have seen in the routing table 130 128 200 means it is uh, 192 okay so the we have to do the and operation let's see so if all ones is there means it is going to be the same the value is going to be the same one one zero 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 one zero and for this also the value is same zero 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 uh, one one zero zero one so simple boolean uh, uh, logic and this for this also zero 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 one zero so here is the where we have to consider so doing the and operation as we are uh, all all are not once and uh, uh, what is the uh, and operation output that we are going to get by the and operation of these two uh, octets it is uh, 0 1 okay 1 and 1 is 1 0 and 0 is 0 0 this also 0 this also 0 this is also 0 and this is also 0 so what is the decimal value for this the decimal value for this is 64 six ones means it is 63 and seventh if the seventh bit is one and all the remaining six bits or zeros means it is 64 now what is the network id for this uh, uh, to send the packet to this message the network id is packet of this message to send the packet of this message the network id is 194.24.1 2.64 okay this is how this is how by using the routing table uh, with the network ids so whenever the packet has been arrived at the router the packet is going to take the ip address uh, destination ip address and it is going to and it with the subnet mask by that we are going to get the network id using that network id we are going to get the interface here what is the network id that we got the network id is 192.24.2.64 let's see above so here in this table 192.24.2.64 means the interface is 2 so interface is 2 means which router so to this network the packet has to be transferred so 192.24.194.24.2.70 is located in this network so through this interface the packet that has been arrived it is going to be transmitted so this is how the decisions are taken let's check the remaining uh, ip addresses also let's check uh, check them see here very simple so we are not going to consider uh, these three octets let's do, go directly to this it is 1 0 uh, 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 how many zeros seven zeros so uh, at last means it is 128 see here this is 128 okay seven zero seven ones means it is going to be 127 uh, eighth bit is one and remaining zeros means it is 128 so uh, 130 if the destination address is 194.24.2.130 means it has to be transmitted to uh, uh, network id to this to this network id the interface is three so the through the third interface the packet will get transmitted similarly if you take this this is going to be uh, it is uh, 1 1 and 0 0 0 0 0 0 this is 192 okay this is 192 okay so the network id is 194.24.2.192 okay so this is how uh, the router is going to decide through which interface the packet has to be transmitted hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching